Hello peeps, just uh, another short, this one's on the ambulance, I'm actually doing some work on it. I'm extending my bed out into this other cupboard, that's the outside locker, and you can see the outside locker light. This was where the oxygen was stored, so it's got a see-through perspex window in it, which was used for keeping an eye on the oxygen bottle uh, gauges, I do believe. So anyway, what I'm doing at the moment is, I'm cutting it down because my bed's going to sit on this and here, so I've got to cut all the way across there which I'm going to cut lower below that hole and I'll drop the top piece down to get rid of that hole so I'm going to take all this framework out back out again, I just put it all in temporarily so I could measure it up um, as you can see I've taken this board out so I can get some room to access um, all I'm using is this a multi-tool it's slow going but it is definitely a multi-tool it cuts through a multitude of things it's a hacksaw it's a jigsaw it's a grinder it does all sorts of things it's cut through this quite level I can finish that off with a angle grinder and there's gonna be a obviously a wooden bottom on that to cover it up make it look nice be carpeted no doubt um, cut this out of there because as usual you'd think oh this is just going to be easy I'm just going to cut through two bits of plastic well no because for a start this was double skinned further up here it's triple skinned so what I've done is I've screwed extra supports across the top of the cupboard unit because it's no longer going to be supported on this corner and I've also screwed I'm not sure if the light is going to be that good I've also put in well, you can see there's three screws and a bolt through there. The three screws go through this double skin into the third skin, which is of this cupboard. And there's also a bolt in this cupboard, which bolts to this metal support, which runs all the way up there to try and give the cabinet some support because I'm taking out an entire front leg. This front leg that's here which is now going to be doing nothing but supporting the bed. He used to run obviously all the way up there and support this corner. So to stop this dropping, I put extra screws into the roof. There's a um, aluminium box tube right above where you can see that rail at the top. So I've put drilled larger holes in, put in riv nuts, then put bolts in with washers on. So it's all bolted and held in just to support this corner. I could have put a gallows bracket of some sort in there, but if that's where my feet are going, I'm going to end up kicking it. So anyway, my bed's going to stretch from that boxed in locker door over there all the way across the back of the van. And my feet are going to go underneath this cabinet so I don't waste this cabinet. Right then peeps, that's the crossbar lowered. I've cut that section out of there. I've just got a small little hole there. If you can see that small little dip there, that's gonna that can just be filled in with some caravan sealant. This has all got to be sealed up. But that's that cut out done. So now my bed can extend all the way across now into there. Obviously, I've got a block off around this door, but that will give me, I believe, six foot seven, and I'm six foot four. Uh, I measured the bed I sleep in last night, and that's exactly six foot four long. Uh, and I sleep a good six inches off the bed. When you lay on, your, on my back, obviously I sit with my back up against the pillow so I'm shorter when I lay on my side, I bring my knees up a bit. So I can sleep in six foot four, six foot five, and I've got six foot seven. So there we go. There's that cupboard, the top cupboard still there. And the bottom bit's all cut out. All I've got left to do is to cut out this, this section here. And that'll be level across and then the bed board will run all the way across there to that side and there's my bed across the back of the van opens up a lot of space in the front because i use it as what well, i will be using it as a work i am using it and will be using it as a uh, workspace right then peeps so where are we right i've now let me get down on the floor oh, it gets noisier and noisier every year getting down if you can see i've just got it temporarily held in at that end of one of those blocks but I've put a false bottom in there that runs across. I've got it screwed up there into this wall. I've got it screwed up on the front face up into this. I've extended it out to make a shelf so I can make use of these charging points up here. Um, this shelf 
I will be rounding it off but I need to find some form of um, I don't know, a wall or a barrier or a little fence just to go around the edge, just something to stop stuff falling off but I don't want any sharp edge there because I've already cracked my head on it twice. Um, this front edge, I'm not sure where you can see it, it sits slightly proud. So what I will do, I'm going to go along with the multi-tool in a minute. Um, I'm, I'm going to trim it back and then I'll sand it all back, get it looking nice and flat. And then it looks just like the rest of the ambulance in. Um, this has still got to be boxed in around the door, that's the next thing. Right then peeps, um, this is the cool, this is terrible to film I know, I can't get much further back. There's the uh, door boxed in. It's going to be insulated, this part with 25mm uh, Celotex, Kingspan, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Rector Seal, which is the B&Q's one. A couple of tips, drill bits, go and buy yourself a big pack of 3 mil drill bits because they snap like there's no tomorrow. I've gone through two today already, I've only done 25 screws. Right then, what I've been doing today is, well for a start, I've carpeted the uh, crash, well crash barrier, it's a, see that bash your head up there. It's the same as that one, but that one's in green and nothing else in here is in green. So I have a carpet there with that four way stretch carpet. I've got a 10 metre roll of it, or a 10 metre bundle of it. Um, calling it carpet, it's a bit of a stretch, stretch carpet, it's not a joke. It's more like felt, it's more like fuzzy felt. It cuts like felt, it acts like felt. I've used proper lining carpet before, and it's much tougher than this stuff. It stretches well, don't get me wrong, it's got its place. It definitely comes in handy when you've got to push it in the corners. Like under here. I'll show you. This may not be too good with the torch like that. Okay then, here you go. This is just uh, the template for the cutouts. It's, the bed's going to be thicker wood. I mean, obviously it's going to go all the way across, but at the moment it's still my workbench. So there's that corner carpeted. It's a little bit ratty in that corner, I've got to tidy that up. That will be a little trim piece going up the side there once the bed base is in. But there's the carpeted footboard and that's basically the foot end finished. I've got room for my feet to go in. Next thing to do is to carpet and trim this side. I may even try and build a cupboard for up there just to seal in that corner and cover up that extra fuse box for this side of the van. But, one side at a time. 